I just can't believe what's in here. I'm looking right now at a mummified head in a glass box. Please tell me that these are not all cremains. Cremated remains of Fred. Table, drainage sink needs major cleaning. Wall near this needs cleaning. Changes needed on price list. What's up everyone, it's Big Banks, back again for another video. And today, we are exploring this abandoned funeral home that was left abandoned just a few years ago. They reopened a new uh, location on a different side of town. This one was not bringing them enough business, so they shut this one down and decided to reopen elsewhere. This place has so much left behind on literally everything, and I just can't believe what's in here. Guys, I'm looking right now at a mummified head in a glass box in this place. I've never seen anything quite like that. That gives you a little insight of what we're seeing today. This place is a complete time capsule. It is more of like a house now. It looks like a house on the outside. You wouldn't even think it was a funeral home, but we're gonna show you this place and we're gonna show you what's left behind. So if you're new, hit that subscribe button and let's get on with this explore. So right off the bat, we're in the office of this place. As you can tell, it is jam-packed with everything. Obituaries, we have the files for the deceased people. We have mail, things like that. All left in here, all types of paperwork to set up funerals, uh, payment plans, everything like that. But here is the craziest part of this room. We're gonna jump right into this. This is what looks to be a mummified head inside of this glass box. Looks like it's decayed and it's falling apart. I don't know if it's a real head, I don't think it is, but that is very creepy. It definitely looks like a real person, like an older person. Why would they have it in a glass box? There's even earrings on the ears. So that's freaking creepy. Guys, I've never seen anything quite like this. What the heck? How many times can you say you found a mummified head inside of an abandoned place? <sighs> Never in my life would I have thought I'd find something like this. This is the first. What the freak, dude. Sitting on this nice stand, so like, it has to be, I don't know. I really don't know. That is creepy. But just wait till you see the rest of it. Now, this is probably the craziest thing in here, this head, but like the rest of this place has so much. Beautiful furniture, beautiful architecture. So let's take a look around the rest of this funeral home and let's see what's left. So continuing in this room, I mean, there's artwork in here. Almost on everything that looks just like a picture from a past funeral. This place is a time capsule. This clown here. And he is definitely creepy. Ugh. I hate clowns. Next to the mummified head, of course. <laughs> Still blows my mind. But this is the main office. This looks like a storage closet. And I believe it is. Not much in here. Some radios, things like that, files. Come straight out here, we have this. We have, we have this closet full of clothes and other miscellaneous items. So before I show you the main foyer, let's take a look in here. Wow, this painting, dude. This painting is cool. You said there are patient files here? Dude, those look old. Deaths 
sort of death, and then 66. 1966. Uh, and she was born in uh, 1912. Wow. Dude, these are old. These are still in here, that's crazy. This might have been the chapel in here. Yeah. Chapel section of it. And then of course, we come right here. And we have cremated remains of Fred. Oh my gosh. So we do have cremains in here. There's even more here too. I cannot believe people just leave cremains behind. So there we go. We have a, another person with us here today. Nice decor. Have an old organ here. I think this is. There's more cremains right there. But here we have the main foyer. And it's beautiful the red staircase and the furniture that's left in here. The red carpeting. This beautiful stuff right here, beautiful furniture throughout this whole place. But just look at that staircase. I love red staircases. And this one is definitely a really good one. So this was the chapel right here next to me. We're gonna walk back here where we see this Coke can has kind of just exploded, probably from the heat in here. There's no power, no AC. We have more certificates for their business. We have some storage in here. Nothing too crazy yet for the place. Come back to this room. I have like a desk, some shoes. No way. Please tell me that these are not all cremains. No way. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty, one, twenty, 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 twenty,
Danger formaldehyde, irritant, and potential cancer hazard. Authorized personnel only. I have no idea what this room was. It's really empty. Maybe just storage or something. So that room with all the cremations is actually the selection room. They must have just stored them all in there. This is the inspection. Look at this. Table, drainage, sink. Needs major cleaning. Wall near this needs cleaning. Changes needed on price list. Alright guys, it's time to go upstairs. Let's see what's left up there. Let's see if we can find any cool stuff. This place is already pretty mind-blowing for what it is. Without an embalming room, it's still incredible. But all the ashes and the mummified head, it's just a bit much. Like, it really needs to be taken care of, honestly. But let's go upstairs now. So even on the staircase, there's some art. Kind of matches the one that was in the office. Let's go upstairs now. Dang, what the heck happened up here? Maybe this is definitely probably where they lived. So this is the house part of the funeral home. They got a microwave, a TV, some lamps, some furniture. So they definitely probably lived right up here. And it is for sure a beautiful house. Just check it out. Furniture here. Looks like this hasn't been touched in a long time. And in the closet, of course, we have clothes. Hmm. Christmas decorations, you always see that in abandoned places. Why is all this tarp here, though? I don't know. This is. embalming products on these boxes here this room is bright but we have chairs some wood some nice suits Here we have some trophies. And a TV. Maybe they didn't live here. But there's even a chest there, so maybe they did. But nobody's lived up here in so a long time. Definitely been longer than 2019 or 2020. Somebody's lived up here. This paint peel is too old. So this place has definitely been neglected for a while. We have more stuff here. We have more embalming fluids, things like that. In this cabinet we have, it looks like speakers, phones. More furniture. This is kind of really cluttered up here. The downstairs area is really nice compared to up here. And this room is just collapsing. So much junk. Goodness. Yeah, not really much to the upstairs, honestly. It's kind of just been uh, sitting here neglected and maybe they just throw stuff up here when they don't want to use it. Well guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this funeral home. It's sad to see that there is well over 30 ashes of people left in this place as well as a weird mummified head never seen anything like that before I'm sure austin's never seen anything like that before either no and i don't think chris has either but this place is pretty amazing to say the least um the outside is just just as beautiful but it's sad to see this town has kind of deteriorated it's like every house around us is abandoned as well and this is like this all these human remains laying in here just deserting just decaying away and this is just crazy so anyways if you guys enjoyed hit that subscribe button thank you to all the patreon supporters i will list your names right here 
And if you want to go support my Patreon and get early access to videos, exclusive behind the scenes to my life, you know, the link will be down below. Check out Austin, check out Chris. Their little stuff will be down in the description. And without further ado, let's get out of this funeral home and we'll see you next time. Big thanks out. Awesome.